Yeah. You know, I did look up exactly um, who that individual worked for. Mm -hmm. Could you get me all the participants in AmeriCorps? Yeah. And all the state corps? Yes. And um, all the Peace Corps participants? Yeah. And all the grant money that we've spent um, helping other nations? Yes. Helping this nation. And then the amount of money helping each and every state? Mm -hmm. Now, there's what's known as the Communal uh, Society it's a collective group, yes. Uh, the Hooterites, yeah. Mm -hmm. Established communal society similar to the Amish, yes. The Mennonites, some ultra holiness groups that I have a certain amount of attraction to. Hooterites. <laughs> and then there's the kibbutz in Israel. And I, I called Israel a couple days ago. Yeah. Why don't you get me all the communal societies of those that are Jewish that. <laughs> Thought spending two or three years together so as to have that big group experience, the, the living together experience, <laughs> similar to the Rainbow Family of the United States. In fact, give me the Rainbow Family. Yes. All of those that participate in communal societies that think it's so rich to gather together. Yes. Now, these first appeared uh, in the United Kingdom, France, and uh, Japan. Yeah, communal first appeared in other nations. Yeah. I went through all the communities. Uh, I was exchange student in Denmark. Yes, 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 yes. A lot of individuals, they like the idea of the global village caring for their children. <laughs> Just see the kibbutz, oh, kibbutz on K-I-B-B-U-T-A-Z. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Communal society created an example of a better world called a utopia. Mm -hmm. Now, I know that a lot of those in government, they thought, well, I should spend some time in the kibbutz or one of these communal. <laughs> you know, when I look through, well, let's say you had a child and you thought it should really be raised by two or three hundred other like adults that <laughs> like the idea of raising each other's children and what that does to the whole culture of the individual. <laughs> Growing up in a commune, in fact, just find the communes, the C-O-M-M-U-N-E-S. <laughs> I had thought about having a commune or joining a commune of... <laughs> Get me the rainbow family. <laughs> You know, I've known a few of those that did get involved in that. It's so important to compost, isn't it? Yes. Mm -hmm. it, it, because you know how important it is. You're there on the farm in the commune. Yes. You're just free-flowing. Flow. Flow right now. A lot of women, they don't wear brassiers on the commune. And I think they should release their breasts as long as I don't see them because a lot of them are very elderly. <laughs>